Welcome. Today is Wednesday of the sixth week of Easter. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Bernardine of Siena, priest. Our presider today is Father Frank. I will praise you, Lord, Lord among, among the, the nations. nations. I will, I will tell, tell of your, your name, name to my, my kin. kin. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Hello, everyone. Bernadine of Siena was a priest, and one of the claims to fame of Bernadine of Siena was that he made honoring the name of Jesus very, very important. He preached it all the time. In fact, he... He was responsible for something that we do today, that I-H-S, the first three letters of the word of the name of Jesus, um, and that, sometimes you put it on top of your heading, but he, he established that. So we pray in honor of Bernardino Siena, who truly honored the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Bernardine of Siena, a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may be ever set aflame with the spirit of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Air Pegasus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions, so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. And even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since, therefore, we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed. And he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some, some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysus, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corneth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven, Heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven, Heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your, your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, <laughs> the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel the people close to him, Alleluia. Heaven, Heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory. Father, your blessing. Oh. 
the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. And so as Jesus was preparing his disciples for that day when he would no longer be with them, he told to them, there are many, many things that I would like to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But there will come an advocate, a Holy Spirit, and he will tell you all the truth, what is to come. As we come in this unique year to that Feast of Ascension when Jesus was spent his last day on earth and, and what he had told his disciples was going to come true, that he was no longer going to be with them. I think that message is good for us. Don't you wish you had Jesus right here and say, Jesus, what's going to happen next? And he said, the Spirit will guide you. The Spirit will teach you. The Spirit will lead you. The Spirit will help you. The Spirit will be with you always. And so we say, come, Holy Spirit. Jesus indeed lives in us and it's with great confidence that we present our prayers to our loving Father. For the church, that like the early disciples, we will boldly proclaim the Christ to others, revealing the movement of the Holy Spirit through our words and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may respond with assistance and compassion through the difficult situations and issues that confront them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our prayer. For all Christians, that we may carry Christ in our hearts, willing to suffer for doing good in the world today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all those who are having difficulty discerning their purpose or calling, that they may recognize the Holy Spirit's movement in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially Fabiola Barcelo, Janet Lasua, Gabby Short, Barry Grimes, Edith Lozares, and all those who are afflicted with COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Miguel Torres, Raymond Doman, Philip Rodriguez, Deacon Jerry Heidschmidt, Lee F. Schroeder, Edna Newell, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And for all mothers living and deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the other intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son suffered and died for our sins that he might lead us to you. Help us to follow him always as we entrust our needs to you. We ask this in his name, Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May May the the Lord Lord accept accept the sacrifice sacrifice at your hands hands for the the praise and glory of his his name, name, for for our our good good and the good good of all his holy holy church. church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and free us from every fault so that the purifying action of your grace may cleanse us by the very mysteries through which we render you service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up up to to the the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right and and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the face of St. Bernardine of Siena, you bid your church rejoice, so to strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy holy Lord, God God of hosts. Heaven and and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. (laughs) 
you are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Bernardine of Siena, St. Patrick, and St. John Hughes, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us walk, offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Bernardine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.